Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be taking a look at a piece by the career digital illustrator known as Dong Lu Yu. This episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about this grand sense of scale here. We're going to talk about the immense amount of energy here, and we're also going to talk about the symbol of the peacock. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, you know, you're met with a very tall, vertically tall spatial composition here. Of course, we see what appears to be kind of some scaffolding in the bottom, and then we have kind of see... Let's say like moon and sun symbols going all the way up. And then we have two birds here commanding a lot of the spatial composition. So there's kind of some chapters or some orders to this piece. Of course, it feels like it's meant to be read starting from the bottom up. Really that foundation going all the way up. But there's these different sections, whether it's through color, whether it's through symbolism. We're going to talk a little bit about that here in a second. So just notice the incredible amount of light within this work. Of course, it's very bright, and we also see kind of a, a star, some midnight backing. That really allows this light to emphasize itself to the highest degree possible. And this vibrancy also reinforces this incredible sense of energy here, so all of those really play quite harmoniously together. And so in the realm of color, we see really, yeah, pretty much every single color of the rainbow here. Even, say, colors that aren't on the rainbow, such as the darker colors of black. And so with that in mind, you see this use of rarity of color as well. Of course, colors everywhere from the gold to the purples, blues, greens, oranges, yellows, reds, is everything in between definitely within this canvas. And so with that in mind, there is a sense of color-based rarity here. Of course, we would say the most common colors would be Kind of this purplish blue type of aesthetic and then towards the top we have the rarest sets of red a little bit of red in the bottom but we have the rarest red up here and the gold right next to that and that sense of color-based rarity of course inherently elevates certain symbols within the composition and so we see of course at the very that sun definitely draws our eye and it feels like they're all really working together and with that in mind, there's an incredible amount of texture within the work as well. Of course, whether we're looking at some of the geometric texture in those spirals, or whether we're looking, say, at the more ruffled feathers, all of that also reinforces that sense of energy within the work at hand. You'll notice these constant curves really give us that sense of implied motion. Of course, the curved form of our feathered subject as well. Of course, even the kind of geometric overlaying of these radial... Um, notations, all of that really works together, gives this sense of implied motion, and of course also works harmoniously with that sense of energy. And so you also see a grand sense of scale here, of course, an incredibly large spatial composition, but we, if we were to reference, say, the scaffolding in a lone person here, you can just imagine just how large this scene truly is. And so that's incredibly important. This is denoting kind of a divine destination, really definitely a very important destination or a sacred scene for sure. And so with that in mind, we see a lone subject here in the bottom. And it appears to be a girl. We kind of have some longer hair and the subject or the artist is a girl as well. And so I actually have the quote that's meant to go alongside this piece so we're going to read it here and so this is from the perspective of this lone subject here of course like we talked about that grand sense of scale here really just dwarfs the, the lone viewer and so here's what she says quote breathing under the moon and the stars i immerse myself in a beautiful night where all life forms are interconnected i can hear them whispering around me soft and distant almost like music notes the colorful feathers are high up in the sky. They will guide me in this magic night. So yeah, really nice writing to go alongside this work. Gives us a bit more character, a bit more dynamic uh, viewing experience for the viewer for sure. And so with that in mind, we see this sense of harmony for sure. Of course, maybe not visual harmony, but a lot of different other elements of harmony. We would call this quite a chaotic spatial composition, but it's really trying to display the interconnected nature of everything. And kind of the most, the biggest theme of that interconnected nature is this central axis. That really calls my eye to that theme that we're kind of looking at here for sure. And so she calls this a magic night. And we surely see that just incredible sense of texture, even some jellyfish kind of floating up in the sky. All of that is also meant to reinforce this idea of biodiversity or the biodiversity of our natural world. The natural world is incredibly sacred. We are a part of the natural world, so we cannot destroy the natural world which, which destroying without destroying a fragment of ourselves by definition. So I think that's all incredibly important whenever taking a look at this work. 
And so uh, one of our artists that we were talking about at CMG, he was talking about uh, this as a tarot card or this kind of majestic chaos that we're looking at here. And I really like that idea. I think that, you know, anyone who also gets that idea, maybe they can kind of relate to that a bit. And so with the tarot card, they normally have some type of symbolism. We can draw that to say the geometric objects, even the sun and the moon, all of those really kind of give us some themes of that as well. So I really like that insight from him. He was actually talking in our discord. So if you guys want to join, go check it out. We'd love to have you. And so, like I said, we were talking about the kind of sacred nature or the biodiversity of the natural world. This, of course, also adds to that incredible sense of energy. Of course, you have jellyfish, you have peacocks, everything, uh, just an incredible sense of energy within this work. It's just inescapable, that sense. And so we also see the peacock. We see two peacocks here, and there emits that sense of gold as well. They are high up in the canvas, and then they're right next to that golden sun. And a peacock has been really a multivariant symbol. Some say a strength and confidence, some say immortality, some say beauty, and some say divinity. And I, I think it's a good mix of all of those. I, I tend to lean a bit towards the kind of second half of that, whether we're talking about, you know, beauty, nature, or say the kind of divine elements of that. I think that's all incredibly important whenever taking a look at this work. And so, yeah, the peacock is a very important symbol. The last time I ever had a peacock was actually, it was like, it was something like the 13th piece I had ever written about. Now we're approaching 500 pieces, so it's just incredible. But two things I wanted to draw alongside this work in just a second. We're going to mention that sense of gold there. Very, very important. We also see that within this canvas. So give me just a second to set this up. And so the piece on the left is the 13th piece I ever wrote about, and here is about the 475th piece I ever wrote about. But this is the second time I've been able to show the peacock as a much more direct or kind of elevated symbol. And so the peacock is a symbol of divinity, it's a symbol of beauty, confidence, strength, all of that, and I really see that for sure. You'll also notice that sense of the red and the gold as well in both of these works. So there's that gold right there, and then right next to that is that sense of red. Of course, in here we have that red backing and then that gold motifs as well. So the the peacock next to red, next to gold, those are the two things that we can see across these pieces, and both two very, very amazing digital illustrations for sure. All right, that's a clip I'm probably going to be using. Really like that. And we're going to go on to the final thing. So this sense of natural divinity, the, na the, the natural world is divine by nature. So it's kind of a doozy, that one, right? So nature, you know, it creates life, it destroys life. There's this constant cycle of rebirth, of chaos and order of, say, majestic chaos, the beautiful um, you know, death and decay, but also the rebirth and revitalization of that. So really, really positive piece, very energetic piece, very chaotic piece, but kind of like CMG said, a kind of majestic chaos. You know, it's not a negative chaos. It's a very beautiful, it's a very stunning, it's a very sacred and striking one as well. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is from the career digital illustrator, Dong Lu Yu. Enjoyed this work, go check out some of her other pieces. She's doing some really good stuff. And there's only one more thing I wanted to talk about. So finally, I wanted to connect this to a piece that she did quite recently. And so you'll see the similarity here, whether it's a scaffolding at the base, whether it's a lone subject looking up. We even had a prompt on that one as well. You'll also see these kind of spiraling motifs, incredible sense of texture, incredible geometry. Even some jellyfish as well, very natural scene, a very grand sense of scale, and kind of a positive take on the cyberpunk genre in both of these scenes as well. So yeah, some definitely stunning pieces. I don't want to make that final connection. Really, really nice. And if you guys love that, go make sure to check out Dong Lu Yu. She's doing some really great stuff. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. We talked a little bit about the peacock. We talked about this grand sense of scale. Of course, a little bit about, say, this is a tarot card and a bunch of things that we hit on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.